In today's video, I'm going to show you the differences between uh, dimensioning in your model space versus dimensioning in paper space. So when, so what I've done over here is just brought in a block from the tool palette, so you know one of the standard blocks that we've got there of this car. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and just start dimensioning it in uh, in model space. Let's see what it looks like. So here we go. I'm going to just dimension between the two wheels, and what you'll notice is that when I dimension it. The text is very, very small. Okay, so it's 2,904 millimeters, you know, from, you know, between the, the two wheels. Um, and we can't really see the text. So I know this happens a lot with AutoCAD beginners. And what do we do? We, we sort of go to the, the text over here. We go to our, uh, sorry, properties. Okay, so we go to properties. Select the text and then go and change the text height because we can't see it. So we naturally assume that, um, that that we need to make it bigger so that we can actually see it. So over here in my text height, I'm going to go make this 100 to see what that looks like. Okay, there we go. So I can see it. And that's fantastic. So what do we do now? We say, okay, right, I need to go print it. Um, so you can either go print, you know, window selection and print from model space. Or if you've got your layout set up over here, you'll see it's quite nicely set up where I've got my viewport. And I can see that um, you know, that, that, uh, the, the size, well, I can see that text quite nicely. Now, what happens if we go change the scale on this? So I'm going to go and say, right, let's go change the scale. And I say, it's a custom. If I go to one is to 30, you'll notice something funny going on here. Um, I'm going to just copy this viewport and let's just see what's actually happening. So I've copied that viewport over there. So these are now the same viewport, uh, same scales. And I'm going to go one is to 40 now. Notice what happens to the text. This text is bigger than that text. Um, and that's not something that you want. You know, when you are working on, you know, your, your paper space, or you're working on the piece of paper where you're going to print from, all the text has to be the same size. You can't have it, um, you know, different sizes. You know, this is just not on. So what what can we do about this? So the one thing we can do is we can actually just um, you know sort of dimension in 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 paper space. So I'm going to go do two viewports here, but at different um, different sizes or different scales, and we'll see what happens with the um, with the model dimension sizes. So to do this, to very quickly go and create one of these, I'm going to go to my layout tab and I'm going to go to insert view. Now this is a new feature that was. Um, that was created in, um, I think, Inventor 2021. Let me just say that over there. I'll, I'll delete the dimension just now. Okay, so I press Enter, and I'm bringing it in over here. Okay, so I'm just going to go into my model space and delete this uh, dimension over here. Okay, and let's go. So now I've got here a um, 1 is to 40. Okay, so let's go make a copy of this. And let's go create another viewport. Okay, and this time I'm going to go make this, and I'm going to quite go, let's go make this one is 200. Okay, so it's much, much smaller. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and annotate. So go to my annotate, I'm going to go and put in dimension, let's just linear dimension. Okay, the same one over here, so from the wheel to the wheel. And there you can see now. I can see it quite legibly. I don't have to go and say, look, it must be, you know, 50 millimeters high because when you dimension on paper space, it's taking that actual, I think it's 2.5 millimeters and that's the size on this piece of paper. I think I'm working on, a, on an A4 piece of paper over here. Okay, so now let's see what happens when I, um, when I dimension this as well. Okay, let's see what happens to that text height. Okay, let's see. It's the same size. So, you know, when you're working on paper space over here, you'll see there that, you know, no matter what the scale is, um, the size of the, 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 the dimension text will still be the same. But when you are um, dimensioning inside your, um, you know, in, in your model space, you'll notice that when you scale the view, unfortunately, the text height gets scaled as well. Okay, so you can see that's absolutely tiny. Um, it's going to be absolutely tiny there as well. I mean, it's non-existent, uh, but it's even smaller in this uh, bottom view over here. So what can we do with that? I mean, if you read, if because I mean, at, at the moment I'm creating two views at different scales, but now I've got to dimension it twice. So what can we do with that? <clears throat> 
So what Autodesk has done is they've created something called annotative scaling. And what annotative scaling does is it allows you to set what the size of the text is going to be on your piece of paper. So if I select this text, the, the dimension over here now, you'll see under my properties it says annotative, yes or no. So I'm going to go yes. Okay. And then what I need to do is I need to tell it what scale does it need to be annotative at? Because if I don't say that scale, the, the dimension won't even fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, right, uh, let's go add some scales over here and let's go 1 is to 30. And let's go 1 is to 40. Okay, and I'm leaving 1 is to 50 out. Okay. So then what you say is at the bottom of here, my text height is going to be 2.5. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go see what it looks like in our, our layout. So go to my layout one, and you'll see over here that I'm just going to go delete this. So this is the um, the dimension on the paper space, so we can just see it. So now what you can see is that is actually the same size, because that's my, my, my dimension in my model space. And uh, that's the same size the dimension that it was in my paper space. So that's actually worked, but if you look at the bottom over here, it hasn't showed up. And why? It's because when I specified the scales that I have to have annotative dimensions at, um, I didn't specify 1 is to 100. So it's not going to show up there. If I go 1 is to 40, you'll see that it shows up. If I go 1 is to, uh, oopsie, let's go 30, it also shows up. But as soon as I go 1 is to 100 or 1 is to 50, it disappears. So what do I need to do to have it as 1 is to 50? I just go back to my model space, select it. And you'll notice that you'll see there's two, actually two different, uh, you know, sort of values over there, because it's showing me all the different, um, the different sizes at the different scales. So I'm going to go here, annotative scale, let's go add, and I'm going to add a 1 is to 50. And this then should go now, add that um, text on my 1 is to 50 scale in my, in my layout. Go to my layout one, and there we can see it over there. Okay, so that's just a quick introduction to annotative uh, scaling and just some of the pitfalls that you can find or what you normally do find when you are do start to you know dimension AutoCAD. Um, so so yes, yeah, so just you know take a look at that. Be cognizant of the fact that you know when you do um, do anything in model space, it's always one is to one. And if you go to your paper space, if you're going to start changing the scale, zooming in or out, um, you know, for your viewport, it's going to change the size of that font as well. Scale it accordingly. Unless you make it annotative and set it at a at a certain height that you want to see it on your paper. Thank you very much for watching.